Hello everyone. In this topic, we'll discuss about Azure Monitor. Monitoring is a critical process for any organization. Monitoring will collect the data from different resources and tells if the resources are normal or if it is degraded, which is very important for different IT teams to know the status of the resources. So we have monitoring and it is going to collect the data, which can be telemetry data and it can be log data. There are different IT teams. They wanted to know the status of the resources which they have deployed in their infrastructure. Based on the status, let us say if CPU is greater than 70%, memory is greater than 50%, they wanted to know the status and they can take the action. So, which is why monitoring is very important. When it comes to the on prem environment, we have monitoring tools like Plunk, Negios, HP OpenView, and Tivoli. So these are the very popular and robust tools which is used for the on-prem infrastructure monitoring purpose. With the help of Azure Monitor, we collect the data and we will be able to analyze the data. We will be able to visualize the data, what we have collected and we can take actions on the collected data. We have the Azure Monitor diagram here and on the left, we see the source. So these are the source from where the data will be collected. It can be applications, workload, infrastructure, Azure platform. Azure Monitor is not only used for Azure Cloud. We can collect the data from on-prem. We can also collect the data from multi-cloud. So we can collect the log data telemetry data from Azure Cloud from on-prem environment and even from the multi-cloud environment. So on the left hand side, we have different data sources, application, workload, infrastructure, platform, and we can add custom sources. So from different data sources, we are collecting the data. We are collecting the log data. We are collecting the metric data. At different layers, it can be from network layer, it can be at the operating system layer, it can be at application layer. At network layer, there can be link down issue, there can be port down issue, there can be hardware issues. At the operating system layer, there can be service stop, the CPU of one of the virtual machine or physical server might be I. So these are the metrics and logs which is being collected by different layers. And we need to store the collected data. We use data platform to store all the data which has been collected from different sources. So we collect metrics, we collect log, we collect the traces. We will also collect the activity log, which will determine the changes which has been done on the resources. So all these logs, traces, metrics, everything will be stored in a central location which will be your log analytics workspace. Once the logs are collected and stored, then we use different tools to analyze the data. We use application insights, we use workbooks, dashboard, Power BI, Grafana and also we use metric explorer, log analytics to query the data what we have collected. And in case, if there is any action which needs to be taken, based on the alert, we will be able to take the action. We can also integrate with different tools and services based on the logs, what we have collected. So we have the logs collected. We can integrate with different tools and services. So we can integrate with services like function. We can integrate with logic apps import export apis azure devops 
we can integrate with tools like github managed partner tools we can also integrate with itsm tools like remedy and service now so once an alert is triggered the it team will take necessary action the alert can also be sent to sms it can be sent to email it can be sent to sms it can be sent as a push notification to application we can also send the alert message as a voice call and also we can take necessary action based on the alert if the alert is based on the metric if the cpu usage is more than 70% of virtual machine scale set then we can add the virtual machines so basically we are responding to an alert to automatically scale the virtual machines some monitoring data is automatically collected these data are platform metrics so platform metric is automatically collected metric for cpu memory disk network so these are the metrics of platform and activity log is also automatically collected activity log is basically the change of the resources if there is any action which has been performed on the resources those actions will be logged under activity log so this will be collected automatically and also the logs related to enter id these logs are basically the microsoft enter id logs related to the azure tenant user and group creation deletion so those activities are also logged for microsoft enter id and these are the logs which will be automatically collected let us see what is azure log analytics azure log analytics it is a tool in azure to query logs from the data collected by azure monitor so we query the logs collected from the azure monitor with log analytics we can do both simple and complex queries and also we can do data analysis we can also analyze the logs to match criteria identity trends analyze patterns and provide various insights to use the log analytics tool to query and analyze the data what we have collected so we need to have something called as log analytics workspace so this is the place where the data is stored all your log data will be stored here from different sources it can be from azure cloud it can be from on prem environment it can be from multi cloud environment so whatever data we have collected it will be stored in log analytics workspace on the data we can do the query and analysis we can query the log for a particular time range we can query the logs for different criteria we can also do simple or very complex query on the logs what we have collected we can write an advanced query to perform statistical analysis and visualize the result in a chart so we can visualize the result in the chart format so whatever data we have queried so basically the log analytics is a tool using which we will be able to query the logs what we have collected let us see azure monitor alerts alerts are automated way to stay informed we set the alert condition and notification actions azure monitor will notify when an alert is triggered these alerts which are triggered can be sent to email sms push notification or it can be sent as a voice call also depending on the configuration we can use azure monitor 
to attempt corrective action as well. So in this picture, we see there is a subscription, there is a resource group which has been filtered and we have filtered for past one hour for the time range and we have 29 alerts. Smart group are nothing but the similar set of alerts which has been triggered multiple times and it has been grouped as a smart group. Instead of sending multiple alerts, it will be grouped into one single alert within the smart group. So there are 15 total alerts. We have also set the severity for the alert rules and total out of 15 rules, we have enabled 13 rules. We can also trigger the alerts based on certain log events. Azure Monitor, Service Health and Azure Advisor all use action groups to notify you when an alert has been triggered. So these are different services under Azure Cloud. All these services will use action groups to notify you when an alert has been triggered. Let us see what is Application Insights. Application Insights is an Azure Monitor feature. Earlier Azure Monitor Azure Monitor Application Insights and Log Analytics. So these were different services. Now it has been brought under one single umbrella which is called as Monitor which is Azure Monitor. Using Application Insight, we will be able to monitor the applications which are running in Azure on-prem environment or even in the different cloud environment. There are two different ways to set up and configure the Application Insights. We can install SDK for our application or we can install the Application Insight agent on different programming languages. These programming languages which are supported are C Sharp, .NET, Visual Basic .NET, Java JavaScript, Node.js and Python. So we will be able to install the application agent, application insight agent to monitor using the application insights. When we have installed the application insight agent for the applications which are running these codes, we will be able to monitor informations like request rate, response time and failure rates, dependency rate, response time and failure rates to show whether external services are slowing down the performance, page views and load performance reported by the user's browser. This can also be monitored. Ajax calls from web pages including rates, response times and failure rates. User and sessions count. This can also be monitored. Performance counters such as CPU, memory and network usage on Windows or Linux machine can also be monitored. So this was an overview about Azure Monitor. We have discussed about Log Analytics, Azure Monitor Alerts, Application Insights. This was the last topic for Azure AZ900 Fundamental Course. I hope this was helpful and added value to your certification preparation. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the content, please subscribe and share the video. Thank you and take care. All the best.